<clears throat> you have six minutes. Cringy, we're cohorts. We don't need these formalities. I've been with Wicked Wiles for almost a century now. With time off for that ridiculous brand deal. Ugh, the unclean? It holds the records for the most units sold in a single advertising segment on Diablo TV. And we both know that my face is the reason. Also, it smells like death. And quit blowing your own horn. No, I will not quit blowing my own horn. After co-hosting Inferno Marshals all these years and being the face of Diablo TV's most successful ad campaign ever, I think I know a thing or two about what sells. Get to the point, break twists. And what sells is this. The underworld does not need more raunchy cologne. It's not cologne. Then it's body spray, and we don't need that either. But we have enough bodies as it is. It's pest spray. In that case, it probably smells better than your cologne. I call it spray away the prey. <laughs> or sap for short. One shot of sap, and your subject's prayer life is gone like that. No way. <laughs> what do you mean, no way? No way it works like that. Does too. Does not. Break twist, you're overselling. You always do that. These disgusting skin pags don't prey on their own. The spirit preys with them. And you can't stop our immortal enemy with some janky body spray. Pest spray. Whatever. Time's up. Is not. Look, I know how prayer works. I know these useless humans have help from up there. <coughs> but you're forgetting they have to submit. I'm listening. Do go on. Submission is a dirty word among the mangy mortals. We saw to that. We? We who? Are you trying to steal credit for that too? I was on the spirit of the Antichrist Task Force from 1978 to 1989. Yeah, well, know. they've made significant progress since you left. Maybe so, but even before I transferred out, we had so-called Christians convinced what they wanted, felt, and thought they needed was more important than obedience and humility. Thanks to our works, Nobody submits to anybody anymore. And you know who hates that word the most? I'm beginning to. Women, the supernatural realms, natural prayer warriors. We've twisted the message of submission so well that just hearing it makes them want to slap your face. There <laughs> must be a point in here somewhere. Simply this, cringy. <laughs> Effective prayer requires not only submission to, you know who, but, the prayers, flesh submitting to their spirit. The modern Christian spirit is weak and malnourished. Why are we even having this conversation? I have a horn polishing appointment in half an hour. Because even immature human spirits can kick our butts all the way to the outer darkness when they really latch on to prayer. You know it's true. We only have one thing going for us. The fact that their flesh, or as their preachers call it, their mere human nature, is so easily manipulated. All right, I'm listening. For the moment, get on with it. Imagine, those little holy ghost homebodies who give the big guy downstairs so much grief. As soon as they start interceding, or standing in the gap, or Hades forbid, taking dominion in that name. The nearest deceiver just, poof. What's that smell? It smells like S-E-L-F, self. And once self takes over, our work is done. No matter how fervent the prayer tries to be, 
the prayer itself is no longer effectual. She's uncomfortable or tired or hungry. <laughs> she remembers how Betty hurt her feelings and how her husband made her mad and does it work on anyone? Anyone. <laughs> Self is their universal weakness. <laughs> One whiff of spray away the prey, and even a minister can't focus on anything past the tickle in his nose. <laughs> you might have something here, Breakfast. If Christians pour time and effort into ineffectual prayer, they start to doubt that God is listening or that he cares at all. They become discouraged and eager to blame everything but <laughs> their own flesh, of course. Of course. <laughs> they start saying, if it be thy will, as an excuse for their own failures of faith instead of as an act of submitting their desires to the will of God. <laughs> you catch on pretty quick for an executive. <laughs> if we hit the right people, the plague of pointless prayer spread among those revolting <laughs> churchgoers like an epidemic. Ooh, <laughs> way to use those buzzwords, cringe gripe. <laughs> You've been reading the memos, haven't you? <laughs> We've been telling them for years that if it be thy will means they have to accept sickness and poverty. And with your little self spray, spray away the prey. Watch them line up to embrace the literal curse <laughs> that their own precious Bible spells out in Deuteronomy 28. They will take the curse of sickness and poverty and rather than to submit their own fleshly wants to the dictates of their creator. <laughs> I can hear the peals of laughter now echoing through the regions of the damned already. <laughs> ineffectual prayer means an ineffectual church. <laughs> <laughs> You're preaching to the choir, sister. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Sounds like I've made a sale. <laughs> oh, I'm sold, all right. Congratulations. SAP is going to be the Wicked Wilds Network's next massive commercial success. All I want is 30% of the profit and my face on the packaging. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Tell the old man that I said hi. <laughs> Give me the boss. Sir, cringe gripe here. I've just developed the ultimate in covert weaponry. Oh yes, sir, I put in a lot of overtime, but it was worth it. I call it self-activating spray. That's not what it's called. Or SAS for short. I think the spirit of the Antichrist task force is going to want to get their claws on it. ASAP. <laughs> Thanks for watching. At Flyboy Light Media, we choose freedom over comfort and truth over popularity. We hope you will too. And you can buy cool tees and hoodies like this one through the link in the description. And be sure to watch more videos. Together, we, we are, are Flyboy Light Media and we rise to shine.